Okay, so here I am trying to add some Techno Parrot shooter games to uh, a non-light gun cabinet. In this case, it's a Star Wars cabinet just with the stock analog yoke. I'm um, using Transformers Human Alliance as my example here. Uh, you just want to add it to Techno Parrot like you would for any other system. Go into your controller setup and just map your coin and start buttons. Um, but note that this game's coin buttons are actually translated as service. So coin doesn't do coin, service is coin. So service one is player one, service two is player two. So uh, just make sure you save those and that the, uh, the game's all set up. Now what you need is Demol Shooter. And this is the latest version, 10.1.4. Uh, and just go ahead and extract it into any folder. You don't need to install it, it's just, you know, just extract it into a folder. Go ahead and open up the Demol Shooter GUI and mine is already configured, but normally this would be blank. So what you would do is like, it's gonna look, it would look like this, It'd be look blank. So I only have one player on this cabinet, so I'm just going to the player one configuration and you wanna choose your yoke. Here's all the hardware IDs that it can see. It's pretty easy here. If you select one and it's gonna tell you that, okay, this is the APAC controller, but when I move the yoke, nothing happens. So that's actually the player two side of the APAC. If we go down here, you can see Buttons are lighting up when I click them. The arrow moves when I move the yoke. So this is my player one APAC yoke. Click save config and Demol Shooter now is marking that yoke as player one. Then go back into uh, Techno Parrot, uh, your Techno Parrot folder. I made a batch file that looks like this. It goes into my Demol Shooter folder, wherever you put it. It starts demolshooter.exe and this is the arguments for um, Transformers, the target is ringwide, and the ROM is THA. If you go into command line and run demol shooter dash H, it'll give you all the different targets and ROMs that are available for that version. But here I just put in the arguments for Transformers. Next line I jump into my Technoparrot folder where I've got my uh, uh, where I've got my UI installed, and you just launch Technoparrot UI with the profile for your Transformers. So this starts demol shooter, keeps it running in the background, and then starts Transformers. Okay, once all that is set, all you have to do is run that batch file. And it's going to start Techno Parrot with Demol Shooter running in the background. Okay, so we're in uh, Transformers, and my coin button, which was mapped to Service 1, I'm going to press that. Gonna hit what I map my start button as. Wait, Sam. Start to skip. And you can see my yoke is working great. So this would work with two players as well if you had a second analog stick. Like in my Aliens gun card, I got two analog controls there, so I would just set the player two config. But of course, Star Wars only has one player in it, so I just have the one player one config. But yeah, this would work for any game that Demol Shooter supports. I initially only ever thought of Demol Shooter something to use with aim track, but any controller that you can see in the GUI, you can configure to player one or player two, as long as it's a ROM that Demol Shooter is currently supporting.